everyone welcome back to the channel again so if you see guys like in the previous video we have completed this login form and this sign up form all right but one thing which i haven't covered in that previous video was the validations so if you see right if i just try to click on this sign up button it will stick the it will take all the values and it will not check if the value is empty or not see let me just show you that if i click here on the sign up and you can see the sign up is still stu still successful and this is not we want right if i just check here on the on this user list and if i try to refresh this page it should be users okay if i refresh this then i can say that there is an entry and this has some empty fields here all right so this should not be the case all right for us so what we will do we will try to restrict the user that sh that he should not add anything and how we can do that we can do that by adding validations all right and how we add validation in angular let's just check that all right so I have to add validations for my login form. Okay, so let me go inside my form here, and you can see right. We ha I have already created the 50% of things. If you see here that we have this login form which we have created, and you can see we have these two controls, email and password. All I have to do is I just need to add here. I need to import one thing from Angular slash form. I have already imported two things. This is form builder and form group. I need to import. validators okay you can see this one validators and what it will do it has some set of validations already and i'll try to put validation for this password first okay let me just say okay validator dot require that this field is required okay if i add this thing then it will say that the, this password field is required and same for this as well if i just say validators dot require okay once i have these things i have to do like okay so if there is if the form is not valid okay so i want to throw some error right that it should it should write here something like that this email is required and this password is required all right so let me just try to do that on the html okay i'll just go here and below this i'll have a break point yeah and i'll have a span tag and i'll use class as text changer this will make the text as red color because i want to show the errors in red color so i'll make use of this class a uh, text changer okay and what message i want to show i want to show that this uh, it will be an asterisk mark saying that this email is required like kind of so i'll just say email id is required okay all right and for that when it will show it will show for some conditions when it should have, when it should show so i'll put some condition here i'll make use of ng if directive and i'll just say that okay when my login form is dirty so i'll just say login i hope this is my login form yes so login form dot and from where i'm taking this login form this is this name should match this one okay ng if my login form dot controls which control i want to validate i want to validate the email controls and this email should match this this email which i have created so i want to match so i want to uh, create a validation for this email all right and i'll just say that if this is dirty and i'll have one more condition and if my login form all right if my login form has error which error it should have it should have if it if at all it has a error called as required and for which control for email then show this email id is required so this is the condition by which it will display the message okay i'll just copy this span tag and paste it below the password okay Now, if you see here, right? I have to do the same thing as well. I just need to change the name around. Like now, which control I want to test? I want to test for password control. So I'll just say password. And if my password is dirty, if my password field is dirty, and if at all it has error required for password, then show this that password field is required. I get. I just move this and just say password is required. All right. So now let me just save things and just let me go on the browser and check if it is working or not. If I just type anything, now you can see my form is dirty and it is saying that okay email is required. So there is a validation called as email is required. 
and save for the password if I type something and if I just go back and you can see this tells that okay email is required and if I just go if I just refresh this page and if I just try to click on login it will not allow me to, okay so it says that login is success just because we are not restricting the user if my form is invalid or not now this is login success because we had a blank which was stored here so this is what it is matching and it is trying to log in inside our server so which is which should not be the case right the form should be valid and then only we can uh, log in inside the system so what i'll do here is i'll disable this button okay if i go here and but for this login button i'll make use of the disable attribute so we have so inside the square bracket i'll just say disable if disabled is true so i'll have the condition if my form is invalid okay then disable that button so how can i do it i'll just say login form okay dot valid and i'll just make use of that negation that if it is true then it make it false and all that the vice versa so what it will do now if my form is invalid then it will disable the button let me save it let me just go in the browser and check now you can see if i click here it is not functioning all right so now when this form will be enabled when my all this validation is there intact so let me just write an email now i'll just say james at the rate gmail.com still you can see it is not enabled i need to uh, make this form valid then it will get enabled automatically if i just type something you can see now it is enabled now if i try to log in it will not allow that user not found because my password is incorrect okay now my password is one two three four five six and now this is this can be accessed so now if i click on login and you can see login is success all right so in this way we have completed the validation for login page that the form should valid and then only we can log in all right so let me just do the same thing for sign up user as well so that this button should be disabled and i need to have all the validations here intact all right and i can see this is this is not looking good like i should see that full name and mobile number so let me just change that as well and please if you guys are following my video then please go ahead and change it like accordingly so it will be kind of serious for you as well that we are just because uh, today i am doing validations next day i will be doing login with a pure backend so we will be using mysql database and we'll try to like communicate and do some all that calls from database from backend server so i will go ahead and create a dotnet core as backend and i'll try to make use of web apis and all that stuff later on all right so yeah so I'll, I'll, let me just change the placeholder to uh, full name and for this it should be mobile number all right i think rest everything is good let me save it and let me just add all those conditions again so what i'll do uh, i'll just go ahead and copy this span tag from here the same for ng if condition where i have to put so i'll just copy this and i'll go in the html of sign up page and paste below it okay so now what what things i need to change so for that what condition i want to check i want to check for sign up form so i'll just copy this sign up form and paste it here and sign up form dot control which control i want to check i want to check for full name if my full name is dirty and if my login form has error of required and for which control for full name so it will show that full name is required let me just remove this email id and let me have this full name is required and in the same way i'll just copy this again and paste it for mobile number as well let me go down here and what i'll do i'll just go i'll just have to change the control name so because i'm checking for mobile number now so i'll just say mobile because this name should match this one i'm repeating this again so please guys don't get confused this should match here okay let me go and change here as well control z if there was a mistake okay so i'll just change this to mobile again okay so required for mobile and let me just copy this thing again and paste for remaining two email and and password okay for email i just have to check for email control so i'll just replace the mobile with email dot dirty and required for this email 
and same for move password as well just move that stuff and just add password for required and controls this password here as well okay so once these things are done all i have to do is i'll just have to go here in the component and add all the validators so i'll do the same thing again i'll just go ahead and import that validators okay here it is and i'll just have all the validators here intact so i'll just say validators dot required and let me copy this and paste it three times here for password as well like this is my required field and mobile as well let me save it yeah now what i just need to do is if you see it right uh, it is still showing that okay there's an error let's check what is that okay so it says login form doesn't exist so because we have copied that so that's why so that is the reason here so let me just go ahead and check okay so there you go so i'll just have to change this to sign up form control v control v for this as well and the last this one if I save it, let me check now. Compile successful. Now what I have to do, I just have to disable this button again, the sign up button. So how I can do it? the condition will be same. So I want to disable it when my form is invalid. So I just say sign up form. Alright. Dot valid. And we have this negation which will uh, change this true to false. So now if my form is invalid, then disable. If I save it, if I go in the browser, you can see now I am not able to click the button because this is disabled. And if I go here and just write some stuff and you can see the all the validation is there. For email as well, for password as well. All I need to do is I need to just change the validation messages, error messages. Let me just go here and change it to mobile number is required and mobile number required and for this I have to change this, this to email id is required okay and same for this last one which is password I'll say password is required I save it go in the browser now things are pretty much done if I see all the validations are showing me now if my form is dirty and it is not getting enabled this button will this button will be enabled only when the form is valid so let me let us just create one entry for the name as Chris Morris mobile number email address this at the rate gmail.com password one two three four five six now you can see this button got gets enabled now if I click on sign up and now you can see sign up is successful let's check the record is there or not then for that let's try to log in and check Okay, so we have written Chris at the rate gmail.com and password 123456. Login is enabled again. Click on login, the login is success. And you can see that. Okay, now this looks good. It says that okay, your form is valid and you can log in, in the system. Alright, guys, so in this way we have completed the validation part in Angular, how we can do this validation. And this validation belongs to reactive forms. Okay, so this was the reactive form validations which we have covered in this video. If you have any doubt related to this, you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I will be definitely going to answer each and every questions there. Alright? And for any other like updates or you want some thing, like for me some discussion you want to do, then I have my Telegram group link in the description below. You can just go ahead there and join and we can have a chat if you have any issues related to Angular.net or any other technical stuff. Alright? So yeah. Till that time, bye bye and keep learning.